Meghan Markle, even with Prince Harry's help, cannot find and keep a CEO for her now half-a-year-old lifestyle brand American Riviera Orchard. I do think that they're going to continue to have a hard time finding people that want to work underneath them, royal commentator Kinsey Schofield told GBN. I'm intimidated just thinking about it. There are rumors that Netflix has said allow us to manage the retail strategy if she can't manage to find a CEO or somebody willing to work with her, she added. Netflix sees an opportunity there. This insight follows reports that suggest the former actress is awaiting Netflix's schedule before launching her new product line. The brand first surfaced in March when the former actress sent numbered, limited edition jam pots to her celebrity friends as a teaser. Radio silence has surrounded the much hyped product line ever since. However, sources indicate that Netflix's release timeline for Meghan's upcoming cooking and homemaking show, which complements the brand, is causing delays. The show, part of a $100 million dollar deal signed way back in the autumn of 2020, has already been filmed but lacks a confirmed release date. A senior entertainment executive emphasized the importance of adhering to Netflix's schedule, stating, everyone has to abide by Netflix's schedule these days. They are by far the biggest player in town. This sentiment underscores the significant influence Netflix holds over the timing of the brand's launch, which is now rumored to be delayed until May of next year. The source added, there is literally no point in Meghan doing anything until Netflix is ready to act. In addition to the scheduling issues, Meghan's brand has reportedly encountered complications with the U.S. Patents and Trademarks Office, which issued notices of irregularities regarding the brand's trademark applications. A source familiar with the situation clarified that these irregularities are typical and entirely expected due to discrepancies between U.S. and U.K. classification of goods. The source also mentioned that any fees related to these delays, totaling nearly £9,000, have been paid, ensuring that the process remains on track. Branding expert Nora Lawler weighed in on the situation, expressing concerns about the potential impact of the delays. From a strategic and branding perspective, if you suggest you are going to launch something, but then four months later nothing has happened, the world moves on, Lawler said. However, she also acknowledged that recent global events might allow Meghan to relaunch the brand without much notice, adding, fortunately for them, there has been so much going on in the world in the last four months that they could probably relaunch it, and no one would really notice.